In general, prison is a pretty dreadful place to find oneself. It's not really meant to be a cakewalk. But just in the interest of common decency, one would hope for some sort of standards. Unfortunately, despite there being all kinds of laws and human rights stuff, Some prisons simply do not give a fig about such things. From getting eaten alive by rats to being held in coffins, here are 20 worst prisons in history. Number 20. Foucault Prison Originally a prison built by the French colonial rulers in Vietnam, this prison morphed into a prisoner of war camp during the Vietnam War. It was a massive facility which would regulate and hold 32,000 prisoners, and on occasion as much as 40,000. This is why no one can escape this prison. This is where communist soldiers were held as well. Foucault Prison was surrounded by intense layers of barbed wire, armed guard patrols, and even a naval patrol at the sea edge. There were so many guards at this camp, in fact, that they used the full strength of the Army, Navy, and Air Force in order to suppress any attempts at uprising or escape. The conditions inside the prison were horrendous. Torture and savage punishments would become commonplace. Some of the more horrific tortures used here included pulling teeth, being buried alive, stabbing wires into the skin, nailing the hands and feet, and the use of so-called tiger cages. These tiger cages were cramped, dark, and painful cells where prisoners were held for months on end. They were routinely dragged from these places and beaten, all before being returned to suffer the pain of the cage and the torment of insects, rats, lice, and disease. Mmm. Many prisoners were left there to die. Many more were left with lifelong disabilities as a result of the conditions. These days, the prison is now a tourist attraction. Yippee! Visitors can take a tasteless photo alongside the mannequins that depict the brutal violence of the place. What a fun one. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. El Rodeo Prison, Venezuela. This is El Rodeo near Caracas, and it's a seething pit of horror. Characterized by violence and overcrowding, like all of the prisons in this troubled country, El Rodeo was in the headlines back in 2011 for all of the worst reasons. This becomes the trouble with letting inmates run things and having access to all those weapons, you know. A riot would break out after a massive altercation between two rival gangs inside of the prison. They had armed themselves, and a fierce battle ensued between the prisoners themselves and the authorities who were trying to take back control of the facility. It would all go to hell in a handcart, as you would likely expect, and many prisoners were actually killed in the process. Authorities would be forced to begin evacuation of the prisoners and move them to an alternate facility. It was a proper mess and did nothing to improve the conditions of the prison system in Venezuela during that era. Number 18. Butrika Prison, Russia this is one of the most infamous prisons in Russia, which is saying something because Russian prisons are notoriously hideous by all accounts. Located in the center of Moscow, this prison has been one of the worst places to get locked up. It has some of the harshest conditions and is known for human rights violations. The prison has a real problem with overcrowding, and at some points in its past, the place has had 100 prisoners in cells which are meant to only house 10. There are enormous problems with drug and disease disease, and it's become such an issue that the warden has taken to sorting out the cell membership based on specific diseases, like those with HIV in one, tuberculosis in another, needles are shared, and so is the sickness, and it all sounds utterly hideous to be honest, but they're keen to boast that they do at least have television. Number 17. Kamidi Maximum Security Prison, Kenya. This maximum security prison is located in Nairobi County, in an area of agricultural land far from very much else at all. The remote location makes the whole prison experience that much of a tougher one, as if it wasn't already pretty awful anyways. There's also no reliable water supply, and that means that prisoners are required to spend all day hauling water just to keep things barely functioning. Beyond the lack of this essential element, conditions at the prison are considered to be poor, although the good news 
news is, they're not as bad as they used to be. Huzzah! Prior to 2002, the prisons in Kenya were notoriously amongst the worst on the planet, but the change of government back then has made a few positive differences to the life expectancy and the general treatment of the inmates. Number 16. Potesti Prison, Romania Built in the late 1930s, in the bad old days of the Soviet regime, Potesti Prison in Romania first began its deeply disturbing foray into the imprisonment of political prisoners in 1942. Now, the thing with this place was that it didn't only concern itself with the business of liking up the political position, no, this place was especially keen on the complete destruction of any contrary beliefs, and they did this through some especially unpleasant techniques. This brutal prison was famous for its brainwashing experiments, which were euphemistically referred to as re-education, and they were conducted on the political dissidents who were sent there. What all this re-education essentially amounted to was a program of psychological and physical torture, degradation, and punishment. Prisoners were forced to admit to crimes they didn't even commit, and they were subjected to public humiliation and were required to denounce their beliefs. This was often through a series of disgusting disgusting acts that would generally involve urine and feces, and you can use your imagination for that one. The prison would last for 10 years conducting these experiments before it was then shut down and those who were responsible were ultimately punished. Number 15. Camp Sumter Military Prison at Andersonville this military prison facility was a Confederate prisoner of war camp that would be used during the final year of the American Civil War. Located in Andersonville, Georgia, this prison is now a national cemetery and the National Prisoner of War Museum. Overcrowded to more than four times its official capacity, Andersonville was a basic hellhole which suffered from a lack of water, food, and was infamous for its horrific and unsanitary conditions. Around 45,000 Union prisoners would be held in the camp over the period that it was open between 1864 and 1865, and of those, almost 13,000 would die during their stay. These men mainly perished from scurvy, diarrhea, and dysentery. The contemporary accounts of the prison were written by men who were clearly shocked by what they witnessed there. They wrote of walking skeletons, filth and vermin, and a stench that was so foul that it was actually suffocating. When investigations took place into what exactly was causing the extremely high death rate in the prison, the Confederate Surgeon General concluded that it was mostly the result of dysentery, a hideous bloody diarrhea that was caused caused by extreme vitamin C deficiency. So, as if it wasn't already bad enough that you were captured and held as a prisoner of war, you were likely to die a painful and terrible death out of your butt as well. Number 14. Karandiru Penitentiary, Sao Paulo there are so many prisons that seem to be in this competition to be known as the worst in the modern world, and here is yet another one. And this time we're in Brazil at the Carandiru Penitentiary. This place would be built following the introduction of a new criminal code in the legal system in 1890, and in the decades that would follow, this prison became insanely overcrowded and completely unmanageable. At its peak of overcrowding, the prison had 8,000 prisoners and 1,000 prison officers, but it was totally overrun by the inmates who ran things for themselves. Gangs would rule the entire facility, disease and injury were everywhere, and there was almost no provisions for medical care. The majority of the inmates were malnourished and also suffering from HIV and many other transmissible diseases. Medical staff were too frightened to even enter into the premises for fear of the dreadful violence and danger that would await them inside. So the inmates simply had to suffer and then die. In 1992, a massive riot would break out and the prison could not handle the situation, so military police would then be sent in. They would end up murdering 111 prisoners, many of whom were executed after they had surrendered. This caused a huge scandal that finally led to the closure and demolition of the prison in 2002. Number 13. The Urga Prison, Mongolia if, to you, the very idea of a prison in Mongolia sounds intensely terrifying, then you would be correct. 
because this is a really bad place to get banged up. In the past, it was utterly heinous, and nowadays, well, it's still one of the very worst on Earth. In the prison in Urga, Mongolia, the terrible treatment of inmates is beyond anything that was known elsewhere. The prisoners were trapped inside of three feet by four feet boxes that were kept in dark dungeons. Yes, they were essentially coffins, but less luxurious. They would be given food that was posted through a six-inch slot in the box and didn't have enough space to even lie down or sit properly. The prisoners were left to be in their own filth for weeks on end, and as if that wasn't bad enough, they were all handcuffed at all times as well. The story is that these boxes were only for those who were awaiting execution, but it turned out that many people actually died while trapped inside of these coffins anyway. There was also the problem of the weather. Urga is a very cold place, so many inmates would simply freeze to death, and even if they did manage to survive all of that, their limbs would likely have atrophied from the lack of movement. So whatever happened, you were basically screwed in the end. Number 12. Kiri Kiri Maximum Security Prison, Nigeria Another country, another prison, another problem with overcrowding. Kiri Kiri Maximum Security Prison in Nigeria is a notoriously crammed place that's full of inmates that shouldn't be there. It's been regularly at more than double its official capacity, to such an extent that Britain saw an opportunity to go ahead and dump a load of prisoners there by building a new wing albeit one for an additional 112 beds, just a fraction of the space that would actually be required to relieve the congestion. But hey, that wasn't really the point now, was it? As well as the worst levels of overcrowding, the food at this prison is utterly abysmal, badly cooked beans every morning, seven days a week. The prisoners generally have to buy and cook food in their cells just in order to survive. But this is not the case for those who are housed in those VIP sections of the prison. There, there are alleged to have their own chefs, cleaners, and all the fancy stuff, along with even electricity. You know, the simple heights of luxury. Number 11. The Mamertine Prison, Rome Back in ancient Rome, the Mamertine Prison was known as one of the most brutal and awful of the time, and that's really saying something since we all know that the ancient world wasn't exactly shy about doling out punishments of the cruel and unusual sort. The Mamertine Prison would be built sometime between 640 and 616 BC, and at the time it was the only prison in the city of Rome. It was very different from any modern day jail, although perhaps not so different from some of these hideous ones we've seen today. Built underground, the prison had upper and lower cells, and these could only be accessed via a hole in between the two levels. The lower level would be adjacent to the city sewers. This was the place where prisoners who were awaiting execution would be held. They could expect to meet their maker after strangulation, or simply being left there to starve to death. Their bodies were then chucked out of a door straight into the river Tiber outside. The stink of the filth in the lower chamber was actually legendary, but the upper cells were not exactly a picnic on their own. These upper levels were where prisoners went to be tortured, so that's all a bit rubbish now, isn't it? Number 10. How Lo Prison, Vietnam Hao Lo Prison also goes by the name of Hanoi Hilton, or Hell's Hole, and so it's likely that the reputation of the place precedes it. Built in the late 19th century by French colonists, this prison was completed in early 1901. Within a few years, they had begun to really stuff the place with unfortunate human beings, and by 1913 there were 600 inmates. But I mean, why stop there? Imprisoning people is such fun. So by the mid-1950s, the Hanoi Hilton was a chock-a-block and busting at the seams with more than 2,000 prisoners. And there it is again, the perennial problem of overcrowding. Locking people up is such a tempting way to deal with everything that most of these places seem to suffer from the same predicament. This place was notorious for its bad conditions even before the Vietnam War, but it was during that particular conflict that it really solidified its reputation. Captured prisoners of war would be placed in this jail by North Vietnamese Army, and then they would be subjected to all kinds of hideous interrogations and torture. The variety of torture on the menu would include solitary confinement, being beaten, being clapped in irons and bound with rope, all of which were contravention of the Geneva Convention, which sets out the standards in which prisoners of war should be held. Number 9. HMS Jersey Prison Ship 
If your nickname is HMS Hell, then it's quite likely you're a very bad ship indeed. This prison ship, HMS Jersey, would be used by the British during the War of Independence and was actually one of many decommissioned ships that they used as prisons during the time. The British used these prison ships in order to imprison revolutionaries, but they were not that fussy about who they locked up. The ships were also full of people who simply refused to swear the oath of allegiance to the British crown, so that would really suck for them. The British were super busy capturing and imprisoning people all over the show, and they quickly filled up all the space in their land-based prison, so they set about dumping people on board of prison ships, and they were all essentially awful. However, the HMS Jersey, well, it was the absolute worst of the lot. This particular ship was a symbol of the ruthless tyranny of British rule. Life on board these prison ships was utterly abysmal, malnutrition and disease were rampant, and some people even died from being eaten alive by rats. In fact, things were so very bad indeed that it's estimated that around 11,000 people died on board the prison ships during the War of Independence. That was approximately a dozen per ship, Per day. Good grief. Number 8. Gitarama Prison, Rwanda If overcrowding seemed to be an issue in some of the dreadful prisons that we've looked at already, then this place is going to absolutely shock the heck out of you. Built to house a maximum of 600 inmates, this prison in Rwanda contains between 6 and 7 thousand prisoners. There's such a shortage of space that many inmates spend a good deal of their time standing. There's simply no other option. Rumors do abound about the awful conditions inside of the prison. There's even a story out there that the prisoners are so desperate that they've been known to eat the bodies of those who have died in fights. But this is not substantiated, so make what you will out of that. What is no doubt a reality, however, is that the day-to-day -day existence of these inmates is more or less impossible. Many are suffering from illnesses and medical conditions which are left untreated. They're subject to terrible abuse, violence, and neglect, and this facility is clearly in no way working under the principles of rehabilitation. It's just a breeding ground for sickness and more crime. Number 7. Tadmer Military Prison, Palmyra Located in Palmyra in the desert of eastern Syria, Tadmer Prison was one of the most notorious and desperate places on earth. Known for the extensive abuse of human rights and horrific conditions, this prison was called a source of despair, torture, and degrading treatment by Amnesty International in 2001. The prison systematically used torture and summary executions, that's an execution that immediately follows an accusation of a crime without any investigations or trial. It would be built in the 1930s, about 125 miles to the northeast of Damascus by the French, but its terrible reputation was earned after 1971 when thousands of political dissidents were sent there to face torture and execution. It was not really a prison in the truest sense of the word, because those that were incarcerated there had no rights whatsoever and could be murdered at any moment. In most places, this is not how a prison is allowed to run. Inside, the prison inmates were not allowed to have any eye contact, either with each other or with the guards. They were kept under constant surveillance, and new arrivals would be subjected to hours of torture in the so-called reception party. Those that were not executed and didn't die under torture may have spent a handful of years in the prison. Some would survive as long as 20 horrific years, in fact. There was also a massacre in the prison in 1980, but there's little accurate information, and nobody even knows exactly how many people died. Between 500 and 1,000 inmates, and their bodies would then be dumped in a massive grave outside of the prison walls. Number 6. Drapke Prison, Lhasa City the largest prison in all of Tibet, this one has a fairly awful reputation. Prior to the Tibetan uprising of 1959, this place was a military garrison, and until 2005 was the hotspot for all political prisoners in the country to be housed. It is really terrifying, and we worry about those people. They've since built a newer facility in order to hold those more unfortunate people. The name of the prison is feared by Tibetans. This place is ruled with an iron fist, and there are even rumors that prisoners can be killed on the spot just for giving a guard a funny look. 
is going to result in a beating or even a sudden and surprising death sentence that's carried out right there and then without any need for a pesky trial or jury or anything else to slow it down. This prison's also known to be rather fond of the use of torture and excessively lengthy solitary confinement, even to such an extent, in fact, that many prisoners are left unable to speak, either through being so isolated or through the beatings and torture that result if they attempt to resist such punishments. Number 5. Black Beach Prison, Malabo Equatorial Guinea is not exactly known for being a bastion of freedom or a barrel of laughs, so you can only begin to imagine just how very unfun the prison must be in a place like this. This country is regularly placed in the top five worst offenders with regards to human rights abuses, their favorites being torture and extrajudicial killings. Justice is not a massive priority in this place, and the prison at Black Beach Malabo is notorious for its systematic torture and savagery. People here can be imprisoned for simply being on the opposing political party side, such as the corruption at the core of the government, and the likelihood of receiving a fair trial is all but non-existent. Literally anybody can find themselves locked up in Black Beach. Women and even children are found amongst the population of the prison. Conditions within the prison are what you would expect, torture being part of the daily schedule, as is the use of permanent shackles, starvation, stress positions, and beatings. Even the visitors, gosh, are we spoiling you with all the fun today? How are you doing out there? You all right? Number four. San Juan de Lurigancho, Lima. Here we are in Peru, and guess what? It's as bad down there as it is everywhere else. San Juan Lurigancho Prison is the largest incarceration facility in Lima, Peru. There's room for 1,600 inmates, but, and I know, this is beginning to sound like a broken record, it has way more prisoners than that. In actual fact, even the authorities don't even know how many exactly there are who have been stuffed into the prison, but at last estimate, it was around 6,000. The trouble with this place, much like others on the list, is a law unto itself. Prisoners are essentially running the entire show, and there are all the usual issues with drug abuse and violence, and the prison is a ticking time bomb for the transmission of HIV into the wider community. Disease spreads so rapidly through the prison population through the use of needles, tattooing, and prostitution. That's right, sex workers visit on visiting days and have sex with as many as 40 men in one day. However, the prison Prisoners are in charge, and they decide who comes and goes, what punishments are doled out for bad behavior, and what happens inside. It turns out they do whatever they like, but just within the confines of the facility. Number 3. ADX Florence, United States ADX Florence was built in 1994, south of Florence, Colorado. This is the most secure prison in all of the United States and is one of the most infamous supermax institutions. Spread across 37 acres of land, the prison has a capacity of 490, and these inmates are generally the ones who are considered too dangerous or high profile to be put in any old regular jail. 95% of the prisoners in Florence have been transferred from other facilities because of their violent behavior. The conditions in the place are tough. Inmates are locked down in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day, and when they are allowed out of their cells, it's only to spend one hour in a bigger cell, which only has a skylight for a window so they can't see where they are. The rules here are so strict that for at least the first three years of incarceration, prisoners are not even allowed contact with each other at all. They'll never meet anywhere on the premises, and over time, so-called good behavior is going to earn them the right to more outside time, possibly even a transfer to a less secure place. Number 2. Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary the formidable looming presence of Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary in the Bay of San Francisco is embedded in the legend and lore of the United States. The prison has been in more movies than any other and has inspired more elaborate escape attempts than most. Alcatraz was a maximum security prison on Alcatraz Island and it was notoriously tough and famously hard to escape from, as prisons probably should be, you know. That stretch of water was very dangerous and some of those that managed to get 
get that far would drown before they reached the mainland. Others would simply be shot and killed during their escape, and many more were caught. As well as all of that stuff, the prison was also the temporary home of some of the 20th century's more naughty individuals, the most famous being Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, and the Birdman of Alcatraz, Robert Stroud. Number 1. Dyer Bakur Prison, Turkey the prisons in Turkey have come under fire for their terrible conditions and allegations of torture. This particular prison has been the subject of an investigation following allegations that have been made by an inmate in which he stated that he had been tortured by guards for writing a note to another prisoner. The guards at the prison found out about the note and removed the prisoner from the dormitory room, taking him into another room which is known by the name The Aquarium. Oddly enough, it does not appear to be as easy to observe the goings-on in this particular aquarium, as the name might imply. In fact, although there is a surveillance camera in the room, its view is somewhat obstructed by a poster or a banner of some description, thus allowing the unsavory activities for which it seems the prison guards use the space. The prisoner in question would be taken to the aquarium and severely beaten for almost three quarters of an hour, and during the beating, the guards were believed to have tortured him by beating the soles of his feet with a baton. He sustained terrible injuries and told his family about what had happened. This event would launch a legal investigation, and now the prison appears to have tried to cover up the attack, even having the prison doctor write a report which stated that there was no beating. If torture or other ill treatment takes place in a prison, this contravenes international human rights laws, and white of ten the domestic laws of the country as well. Although some countries seem to play a little fast and loose with such things. Oh goodness me, that was all rather harrowing, wasn't it? Were you shocked by these terrible prisons? And which of these places is going to haunt your dreams? As always, be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.